What's going on guys? Joshua for the Love of Games and in today's video I'm going to show you how to run the classic 1993 Doom and even Doom 2 in VR. So without further ado, let's hop over to the desktop and let's get Doom running in VR. Let's go! Alright guys, so here we are on the desktop and getting Doom 1 and 2 running in VR is actually quite simple. But we will need to do a few things first before we can get started. The first thing we have to do is actually get the Doom 1 and 2 WAD files in order to make this mod work. So how do you get these WAD files? Well, you have to actually purchase or acquire a copy of Doom 1, Doom 2, or even Doom 3 BFG edition, with the latter having both WAD files in one location, which makes life a lot easier. So for this tutorial, I'm actually using Steam and the Doom 3 BFG edition in order to get these WAD files. So let's open up Steam here and let's go to Doom 3 BFG edition. In order to get these WAD files, you right click on it, you go to properties, you go to browse local files, base, and then WADs. And both WADs are right there. And I'm gonna copy both these files right to my desktop, it makes life a lot easier in finding these things later on. So if you want, copy them to your desktop just so you can have some ease of use here. The next thing we have to get is the GZ Doom Open VR mod. Now we don't need GZ Doom installed on our computer already in order to use this mod since we're going to be downloading it with the mod. So we're going to get this mod from this link right here. And I'm going to put this link down in the description below so that way you guys can go check it out for yourself. You're going to copy that link and paste it into your browser of choice and you're going to be greeted with this Reddit page. Once you get to this Reddit page, you're going to scroll down a little bit and go to the number one step. Download GZ Doom Open VR.zip. So we're going to click on that GitHub link and we're going to go to GitHub. And once you get there, you're going to click on this GZ Doom Open VR.zip file. Click that, it'll download. And now I'm going to go into show file and I want to click this and drag it over to my desktop. Again, like I said, I'm going to be putting everything onto my desktop, to make life a little easier. All right, now that we have both of our wads and we have our GZ Doom Open VR mod, we're ready to get to work. Now, all we gotta do now is right click on the zip folder that we downloaded and extract all to desktop. So I'm going to do that right now. And after you get everything extracted, you're going to be greeted with this folder showing you everything that you just extracted. The next step is just to take both of these wads and to drag them down into the extracted folder and GZ Doom is ready to be run in VR. All right, so now we have Doom ready to be played in VR. The next thing we have to do is launch Steam VR. Once Steam VR loads up, all you gotta do now is click on the openvrdoom.bat file and it'll prompt you to pick a Doom game you wanna play. So I'm just gonna pick Doom 2 here and just run through it. And once it's done loading up, Doom will be running in VR as you can see here. So I'm gonna go put this headset on and actually show you guys around a little bit. All right, so I have Doom 2 loaded up and we're on ultra violence mode and we are completely in VR right now. I, mean, I can look around, I can look up, I can look down, left and right. And this is really cool and it gives you a really good sense of scale in VR of what Doom actually looks like. Uh, this is really wild. All right, so let's go pick up this weapon right here. Look at our chainsaw. And we get some pretty cool little voxel 3D models here for our weapons. It's pretty wild. So use the grip on the side of the Vive control to actually switch weapons. So we can go to our fist, go to our chainsaw again, we can go back to our pistol. So let's get our pistol going. And we're gonna take out these guys. Aiming's a little wonky. You kind of have to almost guess where you're aiming at because there's really no dedicated crosshair or anything to um, actually aim or a laser sight or anything like that. So you kind of have to like, almost guess as to where you're actually aiming at. Oh, imp. Dodge that fireball. Take him out. All right. Space Marine, well, Marine guy. And the controls are actually not bad considering I'm using a trackpad. Whoop, that got a little stuck there. Instead of using the trackpad, it's not bad. And because we are using GZ Doom, you can actually jump in it too. It's a little disorienting though, so I would recommend jumping around a lot. Uh, but this definitely gives you a good sense of scale of like what Doom Guy is going through inside of these corridors. It really does. I mean, even the textures are, you know, they're dated, but they're not bad 
in VR, they actually look quite cool, quite good. It actually pretty looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, the lighting's not bad. Everything is just looks great. And it runs great. The controller is definitely something to get used to, but you can actually aim kind of naturally, which is really really awesome. I've always wanted to just like kind of shoot up at these guys instead of just pointing straight down and aiming. You can, kind of, you can aim in any direction, so it's pretty wild. Nope, wrong one. Oh well, I wanted the secret, but I pushed the wrong one. It's all right. Now the thing with the track pads are they do get stuck like going left or right. So if you guys see it like go like a little wonky, that's because the track pad just got stuck. But overall, the 3D voxel, you know, the little weapon models are actually pretty good. And in VR, this is something you guys should experience. This is quite amazing. So we can take these guys out. Like I said, aiming is actually quite natural. And I bumped my mic there. I'm sorry about that. All right, dodging. Just aim up and shoot this guy. Dodge some fireballs. Alright, let me equip my chainsaw now. We've got a little secret room up in here. Take them out. Push that switch, turn around. Go back to my pistol. Alright. Track pads are a little wonky, so the controls aren't the greatest, but they're not the worst either. Jump on this pad, go get the secret rocket launcher. And now we have the rocket launcher, and even the rocket launcher model looks pretty cool. That is awesome. That is genuinely sick. All right, let's go back to our handgun. Let's go get our shotgun. Let's see how that's gonna be. Might have to strafe around these guys a little bit. We'll just dodge the fireballs. Uh oh, ran out of fireballs. All right, let's try to grab the shotgun. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Try this without getting hit. I've already gotten hit once, but try to dodge those fireballs to get the shotgun without getting hit. That was a challenge. This is definitely disorienting for anybody who's new to VR. I would not recommend this mod at all. This is quite disorienting and can be quite disorienting. So just a word of warning and a word of caution. Anybody trying to uh, load this mod up. Alright, and that's uh, stage one. Let's see how far we can get in the underhauls with this. I missed the secret, I know, but eh, it's all right. Underhauls, let's do it. Get my bonus health. All right, let's see if we can, I don't need health. All right, we're good. Even the HUD is actually in a pretty good spot and it's pretty clear inside of the VR headset. I know you guys may have trouble seeing it, but it's actually pretty clear here. I can tell how much ammo I have, how much health I have, which weapons I've unlocked, and how much armor I have even. And I can even see Doom Guy's face pretty clearly inside the headset. So, don't think that being in the way is actually going to affect your gameplay at all, because it really doesn't. It actually helps it out a lot. And that's classic Doom running in VR, guys. If you want to see the rest of the gameplay footage from this video, then be sure to come back on Wednesday, where I'll have the rest of the gameplay footage uploaded and unedited so that way you guys can check it out. The other really cool thing about this VR mod is that you can take any other mod and add it onto the VR mod and run it. So you can take Brutal Doom, for instance, and run it in VR. You can take custom map packs, you can take custom music packs in there, and it all works. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm planning on doing some more videos around this VR mod, so if there's any certain mods you guys want to see running in VR in Classic Doom, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more from 4 Level Games, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Josh with 4 Level Games, signing out. Have a great day.